Hi everyone and welcome back to Curly and Yarny. My name is Milena and in today's video is the part 2 of my weaving series about weaving scarves on my far shaft loom. So let's get started! For today's video, so today is the part 2 of my weaving series. Uh, so if you have this part one, uh, here it is right here. So in part one, I explained to you a bit more uh, about the, the project and I showed you the weaving of the first scarf. So for today's video, I will be uh, weaving scarf number two and scarf number three. So, <laughs> uh, before jumping uh, right into the weaving of those two scarves, I wanted to take a little minute uh, because there's one thing I forgot to mention in the, uh, the first video. Uh, so, I didn't tell you more much about how I uh, warp the loom. So, I didn't tell you how I pass uh, the threads into the heddles and how I attach the pedal at the bottom. Uh, so, for the first scarf, I kept it very simple. So, I did a very simple 2x2 two two twill. And um, so, this is something I think it's quite common, but uh, for me, uh, so I'm still learning a lot on this loom, so I always like to uh, base myself on this book, so this is my Bible. <laughs> so uh, the Hand Weaver's Pattern Directory, uh, so I uh, follow the draft that is available at page, uh, I, have, I have a little... Page 32. <laughs> so uh, the first one right here, so very uh, basic twill. Um, so to do this, I just uh, threaded the heddle one by one, so uh, one, two, three, four. And for uh, that threadle, I'll show you a little picture, so it, it looks a bit more messier. <laughs> but there's uh, two shafts attached to uh, its treadles following the draft. Going from left to right, the first treadle is attached to shaft number one and two. You can take a second to appreciate my very improvised cord. Then the second treadle is attached to shafts number two and three. The third one to shafts number three and four, and finally the last treadle on the right is attached to the shaft number one and four. So, uh, the way I put the threads into the head all here, I cannot change that. Well, I could, but it will take a while. So this is gonna stay the same for uh, the whole project. As for the pedals, I could change it. For today's video, I will not change it. I will keep it the way it is. Uh, so it's basically the same setup. So it's the way I'm gonna play around the treadles that's gonna change the patterns. Now for the concept of scarf number two and number three, I got really inspired by a day and night team. So scarf number two will be day and scarf number three will be night. So because this this scarf is under the theme day, it needs to be for me it needs to be light, it needs to be hairy. So uh, this is why I chose this yarn. So it's a merino tensile yarn. Uh, so it's 50% merino and 50% tensile. So I believe it's gonna blend very well into my tensile warp. Uh, I chose this color, which is white. Uh, the actual name is naturel, <laughs> so natural. And I, with this uh, white, I really want to. Um, light up this scarf a little bit so at the moment I have some dark colors in it so with this I really hope to uh, bring it a little lighter also I wish to bring light to the pattern in uh, the choice of the draft that I made so uh, I'm gonna bring you back to my Bible to uh, the hand weavers pattern directory and uh, so again at page 32 I'm gonna do the pattern that's right here the draft here, uh, which is again a two uh, by two twill, and it makes little zigzags. And for me, uh, those little zigzags, the uh, I see them as little rays of sunlight. Uh, so uh, with the white, I believe it's gonna turn out very well. So without further ado, let's start this first scarf. Uh, no, this second first scarf. <laughs> So now my shuttle is full of yarn, so uh, we can start weaving. Uh, so the first step is uh, going to uh, set the uh, warp where I want to uh, start over the second scarf. Uh, so somebody asked me in the comments of my last uh, video about this, so I'll try to be as uh, through about this as possible. Also, uh, they asked uh, for uh, a tutorial about how I uh, how I am stitch about how high how about about how I uh, hem stitch my piece. Uh, so I feel like hem stitching is a whole other subject, so I, I will um, explain it to you in a whole other video at the end of this series. So I will do a special video about how I 
how I hand stitch <laughs> my uh, woven pieces. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna show you more on how I did transition between the two scarves. So here is where I finished off uh, my uh, first scarf. Here, this is only uh, woven to uh, try out different colors. Uh, so for uh, this part, I'm gonna unweave it uh, later on. Uh, so for now, this is only fringes. You can consider this as it was uh, only warped and it wasn't woven. So uh, what I wanna do, I wanna keep keep enough warp uh, for uh, the fringes for the first scarf, but I also wanna keep enough fringes, enough length of the warp to consider for the fringes of the second scarf. So I want to have fringes that are about um, 5 inches long or about uh, 12 to 13 centimeters. Uh, but just to make sure, I'm going to make them 6 inches long <laughs> here So because it is under tension and everything. So um, I'm going to count and advance my warp for a total of 12 inches. So let's do this. Okay, so changes of plans. Uh, my idea was to simply advance the warp and keep on weaving where I would want it. So here at the 12 inches mark. However, my warp is not collaborating. Uh, there's a few reasons that I believe. Um, I'm still learning a lot with this loom, as I said in one of my previous video. Uh, so as I advance the warp here on the edges, the warp kept on falling off the um, woven piece here. Here we can see clearly the threads that are falling off the woven piece instead of simply rolling around it. As you can imagine, this creates a very uneven tension on those threads, especially if we compare them to uh, the other threads of the warp that they are <laughs> rolling around uh, the, the piece. Uh, I believe this is happening for two reasons. So uh, my first theory is that my uh, warp is a bit larger than, than my woven piece. Uh, so uh, this happens because when I uh, weave the scarf, sometimes there's a little bit of drying. So uh, the scarf is a little narrower than the warp. Uh, so of course, if I try to uh, roll something that is larger over something narrower, then uh, the outermost ends uh, or threads will uh, fall off of it. Also, I believe that uh, I might have advanced uh, the warp a bit too much. Um, I have a theory that if I hadn't advanced it that much, maybe it would have worked. So uh, those are theories that I'm going to try to uh, test out later on. Another reason why uh, my tension is all over the place is because of the way I warped it. So uh, as I said in my video, I presented my loom. I don't have uh, the adequate tools uh, to warp it conventionally. So. Uh, what I do basically, I just uh, make, uh, because I have a sectional beam, so I make bundles for my sectional beam and then I wind them onto uh, the, uh, the beam, just like I would do with a, a tension box, but I don't have a tension box, so I don't have kind of, in a tension box you have some kind of a heddle that just comes a thread and make them in place, but I don't have that, so it still works uh, when I weave, but they are a little bit tingled, my threads, so they don't really follow a nice artist. Sometimes I have to untangle them, but because I advanced the work by so much and I didn't untangle them while I was advancing it, there's kind of a big tangle behind the head -off. So I don't know if what I'm telling you makes any sense to you. I'll just show you the big mess I made because of that. <laughs> so <laughs> now I'm sending a message to the universe. So uh, for Christmas, uh, I really, really want attention box. So thank you. But there is always a solution to every problem. So I'm going to uh, cut the first scarf of the loom and I'm going to uh, reattach my warp. When I cut it, I make sure to leave enough length for my fringes. That's a spoiler alert, so you shouldn't see the scarf unroll until the revealing of all four scarves at the end of the series. And now we're off to a reattaching the warp, and just like that, the weaving is on again. And here's 
is a pattern slowly forming. It's a pattern that is relatively easy to follow. I, all I need to do is uh, press all the thread from 1 to 4 and then come back, so from 4 to 1. Uh, so this is how the little zigzag, or rays of sunlight as I like to call them, are created. So now here's the view from uh, the, how I make the pattern from below. So as you can see, I go from thread all 1 to 2 to 3, 4 and back to 3 and 2. And from there, I just start with, it, with the first thread I kept weaving for about 70 inches and uh, now this scarf is finished so I've just done all of the hem stitch here uh, so for the hem stitching I did bundles of four warp threads and two warp threads uh, so the same thing I did in the first scarf so now the scarf is uh, done I want to show you a picture that I cut while weaving of uh, this sun scarf into the sun so sun bathing <laughs> So I really like how it turned out. I, when I look at it, I really uh, feel like it, it gives me more of a sunny feel um, than, uh, than if I compare especially to the first one. Um, so at the beginning of the video, I was uh, expecting to weave the second scarf as well, uh, but this will have to uh, be on another video. Uh, so because of the setback with the warp, this uh, took way too much time, and also I feel like the video is long enough now, <laughs> and I don't want to be rushing the weaving of the third scarf, so the ninth scarf. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop the video here, and uh, then the next video, I will be weaving uh, the third scarf, the ninth one, and I really want to make... To, to take the time to uh, do it properly. Uh, I have not given up on my idea to be able to advance the work <laughs> and then starting to uh, weave the second scarf after that. So uh, I'm gonna do a few trials um, in between this scarf and the next one. So I will be starting my next video with that and we'll see if my ideas worked out or if it didn't. So. Let's stay tuned. If you want to have more uh, info if you ha uh, about uh, the first scarf or the work itself or the second scarf and uh, don't forget to check out my website so I will uh, give a, a I will provide a link in the description down below also if you have any comments or questions feel free to ask me in the comments of this video so I'm always happy to read you thank you so much for being there uh, and see you next time bye bye